Hello, and welcome back to Redneck Snack and Food Reviews. A couple things I want to apologize for. First, the angle. Second, the lighting is what it is. But just the way my camera just, for some reason, just fit like this. Hopefully it doesn't fall. But right now, it's just snug and happy. I don't want to, I don't want to displace it by any means. So, um, what am I here for? You know what I'm here for. I have all three new a and W fruit real fruit shakes. They also are doing them in some uh Sunday format. I'm gonna drink a little bit of each, uh, maybe half of each, and then the rest is gonna go in my little um water bottle canteen type thing. It's a hydro flask, and so it's supposed to keep uh drinks um cold or drinks hot. So hopefully it'll keep the milkshakes, which will be all blended together, um good. So the person taking my order in the drive-thru kept em emphasizing that the pineapple was really good. And so I'm excited. Pineapple's the one I'm most excited about. You don't typically get a pineapple I I option in terms of ice cream. I know Dairy Queen has a pineapple sauce for their sundaes, at least last time I checked. So you can pretty much probably get a pineapple milkshake. I don't know if it's official on the menu, but I think you can pretty much do that you can get a blizzard with pineapple in it so i've been talking about how i want to try that but a and w gives me the option just to straight up say i want it and not get confused or not argue with me about the typical things now what a dairy queen uh um dairy, dairy queen employee usually argue with you over that stuff probably not i've never asked for customized stuff but i'm pretty sure they wouldn't i'm pretty sure they are one of the fast food places that play just short as a second fiddle not just short you know no one compares to chick-fil-a and customer service but i would say Ch dairy queen is one of the higher up places that is not chick-fil-a i'm telling you folks um they're a christian establishment they don't they don't you know they don't speak out a lot about that but Trust me, I've been in their restaurants. They play Christian music. It's they've got Christian values, and they don't put it out there publicly. Publicly, but that's fine. Um, we don't always need that, even though um, I would say God wants us to share His word and His love. Um, it's not always it's not always appropriate, um, especially like in the fast food setting. You know, people aren't there to come and receive the word of God even though you can share it in that um in that setting it's not the most appropriate so um dairy queen i think just keeps it on the down low chick-fil-a puts it on the high key and i'm fine with chick-fil-a doing that um it's what one of the things that makes them unique and it's fine um but th they do face controversy for those views anyways that's enough rambling on um a and w I, does does not even compare to uh, these places in terms of service. Well, this lady is nice, but what I'm saying is a and is just not a great chain. Their food's not great. Apparently, their staffing's not great. Um, I've had some good food from there, but in Harrisonburg, they stopped selling ice cream. I went all the way to Harrisonburg just to get these things, and luckily, there's a place 30 minutes down the road but now i'm driving home and now i got three more hours to drive and hopefully this hydro flask keeps it all together it's melting right now hopefully this hydro flask keeps these all together um of course i think it, it'll do a good job it does a good job typically i was gonna dump it out after this video so that's a self note anyways so you got strawberry i'm trying that first you got blackberry I'll try that second. And pineapple, which I have been hyping up in my mind. Now the lady hyped it up for me, so it's got to go last, folks. It really does. So apparently there's real fruit pieces and everything, fruit syrup in here. You know the gist. They've got Sundays too. I probably would have been more health conscious to do that. But um, I know a fellow food enthusiast, either Snack, Gar Snack Gator or Tasty Turtle. I can't remember which one. They're on Instagram uh post a picture with them so i'm doing the shakes and so um there's that um these have been out a couple weeks don't know how much longer they'll be out maybe the rest of summer we'll see 
but they they did good here um hopefully they all taste good but instead of giving us a peach milkshake or orange cream milkshake they gave us these three things so i'm excited i hope you're excited and uh yeah so i've never had the watermelon milkshake from cookout and i'm thinking of doing that because that's their limited edition thing so um tell me if you think that's good in the comment section and also give this video a like and a share um go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel and check out my instagram redneck snacking food so i'm not gonna try and take too long on each shake i'm about to spill this one but yeah they're not doing whipped cream or cherry either just like chick-fil-a shake shack said f it we're still doing that i guess these guys said you know what we're gonna be health conscious and do lids and all that a lot of places are doing that um i'm trying to remember if klein's is still doing that klein's is a local place but they had been doing it i don't think they're doing it anymore which is interesting really really interesting um yeah i don't think they are so anyways it's just me rambling on i mean a lot of y'all are from the local area and so y'all want to hear about the stories they've got for other places so i'm always telling you that because it keeps you interested keeps you intrigued keeps you entertained if i were just to say okay i'm reviewing these three shakes okay this one's good this one's good this one's good or this one's good bad good or they're all bad or you know whatever why would you watch me you know why would you watch me you could skip ahead in the video to watch the straightforward stuff but isn't the point of my existence to give you something different you know i know you want an opinion but don't you want it in a different way just saying so yeah we got to the gist we got to the business here so you know here we go strawberry it's got a good um thick texture i kind of wish i had got a spoon from them but we're gonna do some searching here with my hand. I'm not gonna look away from you guys just to try and find a spoon. I'm gonna got knives. A knife. Mm. It's got a tartness to it, I'd say. There's another knife. Um, I do get strawberry flavor from this. And it is really good. But it is a bit thick, so... I might be screwed here um, but if you visit this place I guess you should probably get a spoon I think cookout usually just gives you a spoon but no this is this is very fruity it's quite satisfying But it's a bit thick. But I like it. I like the thickness. I want to say it's anything to write home about. You know, nothing like, oh, wow, this is the most amazing thing ever. But let me get the strawberry piece in here. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's, that strawberry just made it a little bit better. I have a piece stuck in my straw. Man. That's actually really satisfying. It's nothing crazy. But it's just really enjoyable. I need to stop drinking it. So, what I'm going to do... Because I'll tell you, for me, that's an eight and a half. Um, why? Because I just think strawberry is just basic. And they're, 
for that I felt like there could have been more fruit pieces you know they do say real fruit and I was anticipating more fruit in there but overall it's a it's a good milkshake and I recommend it but I have a feeling these other two might just be better more unique because they already have a strawberry shake regularly on the menu so I don't see how there could be a difference other than that they put real fruit pieces in there I don't know but um, I think the fact that I've sat here for a little while has let these melt a little bit so it's a little bit less thick for these other ones maybe but uh, I'm going to go ahead and review them as well eight and a half for the strawberry just because I feel like there could have been more strawberry pieces um, and it's just pretty basic but it's, it's really good so here we go with the blackberry still thick mm. blackberry always presents a very interesting flavor To me, it's a bit reminiscent of black black raspberry, but it's a little bit more tart. You know what I mean? This is really good and addicting, but again, I would say could use some more pieces in there. For sure. And it's really solid. It's got its own unique kind of vibe to it. Um, I'm going ahead and dumping it with the strawberry for the most part. all of it I guess you can see more of the pieces actually when uh when you dump it and it seems they're more like chopped up and smaller um for that one hmm a complicated thought process on that one I don't want to rate it too high because it's really good but honestly I think for you fans out there that are like do I want strawberry or do I want to take a risk with blackberry you could go wrong with neither one but if you're not one that wants to take a lot of risk I would say strawberry presents a really good classic that um, I'm getting milkshake all over my car sorry but uh strawberry presents a really good classic well I think blackberry is good but I think it has more potential I think they could have flavored it a little bit more better a, more, a little better but it's it's a good shake uh, without a doubt and I recommend both but I'm gonna give blackberry an eight I think strawberry is just a little bit more enjoyable um, just my opinion but I don't know pineapples the one I've been most excited for so here we go with that one um, remember strawberry eight and a half blackberry and eight both really good shakes but I feel like both have better, higher potential with them. But here we go with pineapple. What's this going to do? This instantly feels like a lighter, sweeter, creamier milkshake. You get this good pineapple flavor.
you can eat. And I'm instantly getting some pieces in here. It is just, oh, it's refreshing. It's just a change of pace, if you ask me. If I would say there's any comparison, think of like an orange cream shake, but with pineapple instead. Absolutely delicious. And clearly the best one. Clearly. It's got it all. You can notice the pieces, the fruit pieces in there. It's just so creamy, so sweet, so fruity. I got to stop myself before I drink that whole thing. Because I want to see what all three are like together. No, I will not be um, telling you how that turned out. Unless you really want me to. But, uh, yeah, all of these are good. I'm going to give the pineapple a 10. That's the one I say you should go get if you can't decide. But all of them are worth a shot. Um, if you have an A&W near you, um, I would recommend these. But... If you don't have an A&W near you, if it's like a couple hours of a travel, here's what I say. Call your A&W, because I can't guarantee they'll have ice cream. <laughs> Call your A&W, say, hey, do y'all have the pineapple milkshake? And if they say yes, I'd say go get it. Now, I'm yet to try Dairy Queen stuff, so, you, you know, you may want to flirt around with Dairy Queen too. But this was like so good, man just so good and I know um, cookout also has pineapple and I hear that might be good but this man is so good and like if you're not convinced that a pineapple shakes worth to travel well you can get you some cheese curds um, and some other things from A&W that are good I would say uh, I say I would say call them up because they have these caramel cheese curds like cheese curds doused in caramel that I didn't get to try today that I'm going to try and see when I'm on the way back if the one in Richmond has it because I was a little bit disappointed. Um, luckily, um, that's not what I came here for, so I'm not too disappointed, but I'm, I'm interested. I want to try those. So um, definitely call your A&W up if they're you know, not close by because this is a really good milkshake and you're not going to want to miss out on it. Um, these are all good shakes though. So um, definitely recommend the pineapple the most. I give that a 10. I give the blackberry an 8 and the strawberry an 8.5. That's my review. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see y'all around. Yee!